Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video review and today we are checking out this guy, the Disney Store Porg Shoulder Plush from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now I have to thank Jen Marie from Anakin and His Angel for giving a shout out or a announcement when this guy went on sale again. I just found out about it a few weeks ago after going to Galaxy's Edge and seeing the Ko Kawakin, Kawakin, however you say it, uh, the monkey lizards, the Salacious Crumb character, and I kind of wanted something that was more Porg related or even a Porg. Unfortunately, Galaxy's Edge does not have any shoulder Porgs. Now Disneyland itself has the Baby Groot shoulder plush that you can attach on but the only porg that was available a while ago was the disney store version and that has been sold out for months and on ebay you can find them for 50 to 60 dollars and all of a sudden the disney store came back in stock with these guys and i jumped on it right away and i just had to have it and i'm so happy it came here in about three or four days they had a free shipping promo so anyway he is here and i am super happy with him he is super cute little baby porg he's definitely a baby porg not too big and as you can see how big he is kind of coming up to almost the top of the ear maybe three quarters of the way and let's take a closer look at him so as you can see, he is on my shoulder right now. He is attached with the magnet. There is a little magnet plate that I'll take out in just a moment to show you. Overall, he stays on pretty good. He's kind of at an angle as well. So he's kind of on the shoulder blade right here. And just, you know, moving, I'll move my arm around and shoulder and flex a little bit and kind of go back and forth. He doesn't, you know, really move. Of course, I was worried about that. I was curious how exactly this was going to stay. I thought there was kind of like a coupler or, you know, a shoulder piece that attaches. I guess depending on how you're wearing the Porg, you can modify something to have it stabilize better or get a stronger magnet. The magnet that is on it is pretty strong already, so you don't really have to worry about it. And even as you can see with the shaking that, you know, he's staying in place right now. And even if you move forward, move back, lean to the side you know he kind of gets attached to your shirt so he doesn't have to you know or you don't have to worry about him falling or her depending on what kind of baby pork you do adopt i'm not sure how it will stick up in a backpack with the straps the strap might be too thick for the magnets to reach each other that is something you can try out and that's something you know if you're going to comic con and you have a backpack i'm not quite sure if it will stay on as it does to you know just having your regular shirt on so let me go ahead and take this off and we'll get a closer look and as you can see, this is the, the magnet that kind of resembles the Porg colors, the brown color. And it's, you know, in here, it is hard. Um, it is kind of not really flexible, but I don't want to break it. It's a thin magnet that is here. And that just goes right under your shoulder sleeve. And actually, let me take a look at the little booklet that comes with it. Now, they have Darth Vader, which I'm not quite sure why, because he's not even in the new movies, but or the trilogy, new trilogy, but... Oh well, and actually I just, oh and the price, yeah, it is the same, so $14.95 is the price. As of today, July 7th, these are still available, so if you want to hop on, you know, I would highly recommend you do that as soon as possible. And inside is just a quick instruction steps, or steps, you know, how to apply it. It's, you know, really you don't need it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but this just shows, you know, where the magnet goes and where the porg gets applied now taking a look at the pork itself he is super cute i mean those big eyes let me see if i can get that focused in here there we go and they're not like beaded eyes they are fabric they're sewn in so you don't have to worry about them falling off like a teddy bear or anything and there really aren't any extra or loose hanging pieces besides the leg legs one thing i'm not a fan of is how long this tag is i don't know why they made it so long so you couldn't really see it on my shoulder and i just tucked it back in here and when i apply it you know you won't see the tag but let me see it just has the star wars and lucasfilm tag or the label and it says it looks like this was made from 100 percent recycled pieces that's actually pretty cool to know and then there is the disney logo here as well and made in china Disney merchandise, Disney store. It just has different Disney store labels and washing instructions too. I don't know how you'll get this so dirty, but if you do need to wash it, it says all new materials plush, polyester fiber. And they're not quite wash instructions, but I guess it says hand wash. You know, it has everything crossed out except the uh, hand wash feature. So just small, I guess, instructions there. It is super soft. It's a really nice fabric that they have molded it on. And it almost feels like a Beanie Baby. So it's not 
I guess plush is the right word. I'm not sure if Beanie Babies are considered plush. There is some, you can feel the beads in, you know, the stomach and the uh, tail area. But it is super soft and the fabric is really nice, which I really like about that. The wings don't go up too much. They are sewn about halfway here. So this is as far as they go. And I kind of wish they did have like some kind of wire so you can keep the wings up, but they just lay flat or go up a little bit. Not too much in there. And of course, if you wanted something more extravagant like the Kowakian Monkey Lizard, they would of course be more expensive and come with different features, noises. You can see the different colors. We have the white in the front here. We have the orangish brown around the eyes and neck, and then the brown on the back and the tail, and of course the little orange feet here. So pretty simple, you know, it's, it's pretty much a Beanie Baby. If, you know, you're trying to come up with a better comparison or understanding of what this is, and it's really cool. I love this guy. I'm super happy to finally have him, and he's gonna go everywhere with me. Now, for the surprise, I ordered an extra one to have as a giveaway. So we got the two Porg plushes here. This is brand new too. I kept the label or the instruction book on and the magnet is in here. So I am going to be giving this away. It is open worldwide. Wherever you are, feel free to enter. We are going to have plenty of ways to enter. And this is also a kickoff giveaway for my new blog or my blog renaming. As you all know, I used to be called earth to geek and now I am called Saga Today, some awesome geek adventure today. And that was just to kind of expand on my blog and videos and what I have had in the fe in the past featuring vacations and food because I am kind of well versed in a lot of different hobbies and interests. So of course I'm going to have more of a geek focus still just to throw in and have a more generic blog understanding for what you know I am presenting. To win this, you are going to be able to enter by subscribing to my YouTube channel, commenting on this video. Uh, let's see, what else should we have? like my Facebook page, follow my Instagram, and possibly some more along the way. This giveaway will start today, July 7th, and it will run for, let's give it three or four, let's do four days. So Thursday, July, let me pull up a calendar real quick. Thursday, July 11th, this giveaway will end. Now you don't have to let me know which accounts are the same because I know people have different names on let's say YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, because either way, if you enter on all those platforms, you're going to have an entry. But like I said, for now, subscribing to this YouTube channel, commenting on this video, following my Instagram and liking my Facebook page will be the four ways to enter for now. If you want to have more chances to win or gain more entries, stay tuned to my other social media platforms. Now I'll make announcements in the next few days and add those entries as well. There you have it folks, my review of the Porg Shoulder Plush. Thank you all for watching, good luck. And once again, I would like to thank Jen Marie with Anakin and His Angel. All the links will be down below to enter. Good luck, thank you all for the support.